Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I don't think it's gonna be that quick, but um, just wanted to update on how the shoot went this weekend. It was freaking awesome. Um, I wasn't getting paid for it, but I was second AC, um, which for those of you who don't know, I mean, even though it was a smaller production and I was wearing a bunch of different hats. Hello, Tuna. Um, this is Tuna, my cat, by the way. She says, hello. Okay. She doesn't like when I touch her. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, so what I was saying, so like it was a smaller shoot, so I was wearing a bunch of different hats, but basically second AC runs the slate. Um, which helps mark up for editing for um, the video with the audio because it makes that snap so it has like a huge wavelength on the sound and then it also says the scene um, and the take on the uh, slate so basically I had not only my all-star backpack but I had my all-star fanny pack and my all-star I guess like a utility belt loop and I was literally the girl who had everything. I'll even tell you how crazy it got. So for the job I have in the props office for um, the Netflix show, we were collecting bottles uh, and cans for the week because we were using it as a prop for a homeless guy that plays in the show. So we needed to fill like these huge recycling bags. So over the weekend, I took the recycling from my apartment and um, I was collecting recycling at the shoot and I work at a bar on Saturdays. So I was like picking bottles out of the recycling bin to put um, in for the show. And I just ended up leaving the, the uh, garbage bag in my car because I didn't want to like lug it around between my apartment and such. So um, we get in on Sunday and we're having like a little pre-shoot meeting and they're like, oh, what place is going to sell us beer at like 6.45 in the morning? Like we're going to do the drunk scene first. And I was like, I have empty beer bottles in my car, not ones that I drank. And then I explained them the whole story and asked to why that those were in my car. So let me go over the stuff I have in my backpack because that's what I wanted to do with this video in the first place. So, oh, this is the backpack I bring to work pretty much every day. Uh, I have my water bottle, an umbrella, just in case you never know. Uh, hand sanitizer attached on the side here. Um, in the front pocket, I have all wires and stuff. So I have headphones, uh, an iPhone cable. I have a mini USB because these um, charge pretty much everything else that isn't an iPhone. Wall plug, which I used. And I use my iPhone charger and I use this uh, mini USB chapstick. Always got to have uh, the second pocket here and you'll see I have a safety pin right here. I also have a lot more, but I'll show you when I get to that. Um, so I have food, <laughs> little pop tart, um, my business cards and my fancy little, my fancy little holder. Um, I had post-it notes. I have a prop phone just in case we needed a cell phone and I mean everybody has a phone but whatever I just keep a phone on me mouthwash which did get used yes sharpies galore uh, it's okay it was okay for me to carry around uh, Altoids because we were shooting um, in a small apartment so my bag was like in the back room while we were shooting basically in the living room although it did have gum as well and that got a hit um, I've got this little thing. It's got um, a can opener, um, a flat, um, what is it called? Screwdriver, duh, and a knife. Um, let's see what else I have in here. Can clean lenses with this. This came in handy. Um, and a nail file, which is good just to have in general. Um, in the main pocket here, I have feminine products, um, pens, and then in here I also have a Tide pen, which I didn't use, but I love that I keep this in my bag because I really needed it today at work. Um, and in here I have like highlighters and stuff. I always keep like a little makeup bag with me because um, you never know when like you need a touch up or like on set if an actor needs a little touch up, uh, an extra shirt. I also had another extra shirt, gloves, an extra pair of underwear, but you don't need to see that. Um, some socks and like a thermal shirt and long johns. We did end up shooting outside for about an hour, but it was kind of bearable. I mean, it was about 
50 in the sun, but we weren't shooting in the sun, so it was a little chilly. People were definitely starting to get cold towards the end. Um, I have not only one, but two notebooks. Um, I keep two books in here just in case we had a little downtime, which we didn't. Um, and this was another thing that came in handy. I printed out extra call sheets and scripts, um, which definitely got used and was awesome that I had because there were scripts flying around everywhere. Um, I have some more snacks. I, I have everything with me. This is just like my everyday bag. Let's see, what do I have in here? Oh, this one I totally forgot I had, but one of the actresses had some like flyaways and they were showing up on the camera. So we're going around like, does anybody have hairspray? And I was like, I think I have hair gel. And I did. Um, that was good. Deodorant. Because we all get stinky after 15 hours. Some more snacks. And not one, but two chargers. And one of them got used, which was actually for um, the rack focus. They were using... Um, one that connects, I guess, like through Bluetooth, um, which was awesome. So then the assistant, um, so the first assistant camera didn't have to be like right on top of the cinematographer, camera operator, DP, you know, they're all the same person in the shoot. Um, okay, so that was my backpack. That's just what I carry around on me every day. So then I had my little fanny pack, which I could attach this to as well. Um, I didn't find that I needed to have the fanny pack on me because like I said earlier in the video, it was um, a small shoot, so... We were kind of near everything all the time and you know it's it's better to carry less on you so you don't like make noise and sometimes like it's hard to be spatially aware of you know how much space you're taking up and you don't want to knock anything over because then it's like you got to reset it perfectly so in here i had like a little face mist um in this i have like a nail clipper a nail file tweezers and Advil and uh, it's broken so I put a couple rubber bands around it just in case we needed it. A highlighter pen, floss, another deodorant, um, regular tape and hand lotion was in here um, that I just kind of kept to the side and kept like other stuff in. So this was what was on me most of the time. Um, I think I got it online on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but it can't be too expensive. It's got like a loop this way if you wanna put it through your whole belt and it's got like a clip also, which was great because the second day I was wearing pants that I don't need to wear a belt in so I could kind of like just attach it to my pocket. So I always carry my surveillance around with me. Um, I got mine pretty cheap on Amazon and it's definitely come in handy. I would say like, I think I only spent like 10 bucks on it, honestly, which, you know, it might not be the best quality, but when I was day playing for um, a shoot in December, January, either way, um, and you know, the head PA, the key PA is bringing me to the, to the honey wagon where like all the um, equipment for like the the PAs are he was like oh do you need a headset and I was like no nah, I have my own and he was like ah oh, so you've done this before and I was like yeah anyway so that's always just good to have if you can like spare the extra 10 to 20 dollars just do it um I also bought this cool little earpiece that goes right into your ear and it's really comfy and it, you forget that it's in there because sometimes they can be really stiff and annoying um anyway we didn't end up using these because small apartment small shoot so in this bag here, um, it, it, could, it held everything that I needed. I had um, some of these in there, which I, I didn't use. Um, I had an Expo marker, which was my best friend. Um, since I was able to go home after the first day, I got a different Expo marker that has erasers um, on, and it's two colors on each side, which was just like, it's, it was awesome. This was like my best friend this weekend. So I had a little notebook. Um, the DP was just having me write like f-stop notes and you know I was just keeping little notes to myself of things that I was hearing um you know different websites to check out and whatnot um I have a bunch of pens um some sharpies I also have a couple of these little things <laughs> hello um so this one is a bottle opener a flashlight and like a little um tape measure it's not huge I'd like to get one that's a little bit longer um, but it's just convenient either way I have a little pocket knife that has 
like extra little tiny baby scissors and a knife. And it's also got like some tiny tweezers on this side and another flashlight. There, now it's working. Um, oh, this one came in handy too. So I have this, it's a pen, um, pen on one side. And then on this flip side, it's um, a screwdriver with two different bits, but Right here in the middle, it's got a level, which came super in handy because we were using a slide. So it's basically like you set up these two stands, this slide piece goes on it, then they mount the camera on it and they're able to do shots where, you know, somebody's walking and it follows or to, to pull into somebody. Um, so it was great having a little level there, even though if it's not level, you can tell because the camera will slide to the lower direction, but was very, people were very impressed with this little doodad. Um, and then along with that, I have two other little screwdriver bits. Um, this is like a screwdriver one, I'll pull the top off here. And this one flips uh, also, it's really stuck in there though. And then I got this one at a tech conference when I was working at a tech company, um, but it's got like a couple different bits and they're like different sizes. So, you know, I didn't necessarily need them, but not a horrible thing to have. Um, so yeah, I guess I just wanted to go through my bag and show you what I had. And this video is really long, so hopefully it helps you.